<laughs> Love that sound. There's not even room to move around here. <clears throat> empty trailer. That was empty. See, I don't know why these aren't being loaded. These are the ones. These are the the pedal routes. These are the ones we run, like daytime. So none of the daytime trailers have shit in them, and we're all sitting here, literally, just fucking twiddling our thumbs, and we can't find our stock. We don't even have our paperwork to know what trailer we're taking to start tending to it. I mean, this is dangerous because you have forklift traffic and people walking down one. It's single file line. Let's go look on the other side. It's even worse. And you can see all those. See all that light? There's supposed to be trailers in every one of those doors. And I don't even know if I'm going to get through here. Yeah. <laughs> now this shit stacked up. It is just piled on top of the pile. I can't even get over there. Yeah, I can't get through that way. <clears throat> we can't even get our day started. Trailers are not ready. And now they want us to come in on Saturday. If not Saturday, then Sunday. I don't know what the fuck these are. These are broken ones. One of those broken ones we just happen to have hanging around. They said in the meeting the other day, oh, we found chargers, they're just not installed. Well, that's fucking helpful. Every time we get some shit like this that's, that looks like they're getting ready to fix our stuff, we're just shipping it out to somewhere else. That's somebody else. Somebody else's nice dock is getting new equipment, not us. We'll handle their equipment with our crappy equipment. We can't even get to the chargers on this side. So all of the forklifts, the few forklifts that do work, you can't charge them. And we're all competing for the same like single file lane here. So once we do, if and when we do get trailers, we're not going to be able to fucking move. They've got truck drivers. Yeah have to go run their route and then come back and unload their trailer because of their limited resources this has been snowballing and snowballing and now I don't know what the hell is going on with our trailers why don't we have empty trailers what are all those trailers full or something I mean I don't freaking get it do we not have a yard dog I just don't get it. Aren't those trailers empty? Or are those trailers still full needing to be unloaded as well? Hey, there's a couple chargers you can actually get to. Let's see if either of them work. <laughs> I have it open. There's a broken ass pallet jack. A lot of times you'll get over here. And... Yeah, that one's actually charging. That'll be a hot commodity. And some jack holes got that one locked up. Pretty much have to lock up the pallet jack if you want to keep it. And half of those ones that are locked up, I thought those were employees that were gone and that they're locking up resources. These stupid things, boxes for Walmart, they never wrap them to the pallet. They always fall because they always double stack them. And they always topple. I hate those people. Wow, they actually have these available. Empty door, empty door. I mean, are all those trailers out there in the yard 
Are all those full of stock? I mean, what? Why don't we have empty trailers in here? I don't get it. So are all the uh, all those trailers over there? Are those loaded to go? Still loaded? Oh, so we have no empties. None. Oh my gosh. Anyone can go ninety-three. What about it? That's crazy. This morning, um, this morning, uh, line halt called us and they're like, "Hey, we got a driver. He's going back to Nashville." Um, you got an empty. We we're like, no. We gave him a, we gave him a trailer with one skid on, oh, and they closed it. They were like, okay. Uh, it's, it's just it's desperation for. I thought we bought a trailer manufacturing company. All those GLS lease co bought those trailers. Okay. I mean, we you know we. I mean, I, this seems like an emergency to where we can we should green light some. Uh, Releasing some more trailers. I mean, there's a uh, premier premier leases, tra- you know, trailers. Yeah. I mean, we could use 20 right now. And they could probably bring them. With all the freight we have, we probably need about 100. 100? Right? Yeah, we're about 2,100 pieces behind. There's there's 52 trailers to be unloaded. Oh, jeez. 52 trailers? To be unloaded. And then what can we... Uh, we, we don't have nothing to work with. I mean, this is just going to keep snowballing out of control. Yeah. All of our pedals are empty. All of, over there. We haven't even got paper. I don't know what to do. You can't even move down here. And you saw the outbound's open. There's no outbound trailers. So you can't even yeah. load that freight. Yeah. There's none there. So that and that's that's time is that's a t- taking time off for night night shift. And they don't get paid unless the wheels are rolling. So they're just sitting idle. That's why I, I got off night shift. I started on nights. I'm like, no, um, there's too much idle time. Work 60 hours a week and only get recognized for maybe 40, 45 of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause Wait, you, so the, you're the only forklift? paid when you're on the road or logged into a forklift. Really? Anything, you know, inspecting or fueling or s- problems, waiting on freight, it's all downtime. That, uh, you know, I'm just raging the entire time. I'm not, not getting, getting paid. paid. Yeah. 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 That's weird. I jumped today shift. I mean, I'm least at least you know, I'm still stressing about it, but I'm not you know not feeding my family at the same time. But yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what to do here. Nobody has any like you can't work without equipment. No. Can't you, no. You can't you can't scan nothing. A lot of people, a lot of dock workers don't get paid unless they're signed in to a forklift. So. Right. Can't have them on a pallet jack, you know. Right. And That's, even then, it's you can't transfer. You know, I was running all the way down to 130 door with a pallet jack. And we don't have. And honestly, there's more broken pallet jacks than there are good ones. So you're not. Good. That's not going to do any good either. You can't really scan or weigh anything. I don't, I don't know. Who, you know, somebody might be able to scan with their gun, but or scan with their handheld. I don't know what to do, man. I'm, this is, I mean, this is going to keep me here until 9 o'clock tonight. Then they expect us to work Saturday. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I hope a recruiter calls me. <laughs> So those are all full of freight and not moving. Crazy shit.